Hi everybody. So if you've been um, following my channel, you know that I did a twin flame reading maybe three or four days ago. And in the, re in the video, I was asking about new love and I was putting the intention in that, you know, that I only channel your life partner, that I don't channel any of the karmic exes from your past. Um, so for that energy group, though, the the toxic exes that you guys have that keep showing up in your readings, um, they came through because you there's something there that you need to cut and clear. Now, this could be, it, it doesn't mean that you're still attached to them. Like you might be over them, but you might still have the red cords attached. So they might be draining your energy without you knowing it. Um, they, there might be some kind of, uh, just some kind of, uh, negative thought pattern that developed because of that relationship there might be there might be some sort of connection there on a deeper level even if you're consciously over it so I really recommend doing a cut and clear spell on him or her um, but you don't have to but I was thinking for for this energy group for the um for that that story that I just started telling a few days ago I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that up I'm gonna I'm gonna do that for you know the following months to come I'm if you're in that energy group I'm gonna um continue telling that story you know and I think um for those of you that are in that energy group right now you're manifesting new love but if but first you have some things in your life that you need to cut out and this might not even be a person for some of you it could be a soul contract that needs to end um, not that some soul contracts you can't end, but some soul contracts you can end. So you kind of have to look deeper into that to see if it's one that you are able to end. Um, maybe like a karmic cycle that's already completed, but you might be repeating that karmic cycle just because you're, um, you've gotten familiar and used to that energy. You know what I mean? So you might be repeating it anyway. You, you might, you can cut and clear. Um, you don't just have to cut and clear people. You can also cut and clear, um, events or, um, you know, there's certain like thought patterns or beliefs that you can cut and clear. Like if you if you decided that karmic lesson has been learned and you're ready to move on from it. But anyway, so for those of you that are in that energy group, I'm going to do a community ritual on the the night of the new moon. And I'll post for those of you that are interested, just comment below. Um, I'll probably post the exact timing of it on my um on the community uh, page where you can leave comments. I'm, I'll post the timing on there, uh, probably the, the day of the new moon when I have a clearer idea of, of what time I'm going to be doing that at. So for those of you that want to follow that, I'll be doing a live ritual and you guys can do it alongside me. Um, you will need, so this is going to be a cut and clear ritual because I feel like a lot of you that watched my video, like you know that it, like it resonated and you feel like you know you need to do it, but maybe some of you don't know how to do cut and clear rituals um, or you're just, you, you want to make sure you do it right. So I'm going to do it along with you um, on on the new moon. And you know, you, you don't have to do the ritual. Like you can, I don't want it because I know witchcraft makes some people uncomfortable. So Whenever I do, you know, if I do start doing spells on here and whatnot, I'm going to make sure that I put that in the title so that you know that, you know, I don't want to surprise you guys. So if, if you're in the Twin Flame group and you don't want to do the ritual, that's totally fine. Um, you can just ignore the, um, the live video I'm going to post on the night of the new moon. And then next time I do, do a Twin Flame reading, I'll be going back to doing just the, the reading part of it. So just, so yeah, just skip this, um, if, if the, the rituals don't make you comfortable. But anyway, for those of you that do want to do it with me on the full on the new moon, which I believe is the 13th, this Saturday, and I'm going on Pacific Standard Time, by the way, um, you will need a brown candle or a black candle or a white candle. So brown candle is the one that I would recommend. But if you can't get your hands on a brown brown candle, that's fine. You can also use a black one. White is pretty much just an all-purpose color. Like if you if you you know you can do pretty much any spell with a white candle. It's just it's a universal color. So so yeah, get get a candle. Um, you can decide what what feels right for you. Like I don't I want to teach you guys that witchcraft is it's meant to be intuitive. It's like an art form. You know you do want to ground and protect yourself. But there's not, I mean, I don't want to say there's not a wrong way to do it because I'm sure there is, but it's, it's not like it's going to backfire on you if you use 
a different herb than the herb I'm using, you know, or if you use a different, if you see a, a candle and the color resonates with you for cut and clear work, but it isn't one of the colors I suggested, you can still use that, you know, the intention and the emotion and energy that you put behind it is, is really important. And, you know, being respectful, if you're calling on deities, being respectful to them is also really important. And of course, you want to ground yourself and you want to probably, you know, cleanse your space beforehand and make sure you're in a good environment. But um, but yeah, I mean, you know, get the supplies that feel right for you. Like you you don't have to do the spell work, the spell just the same way I do it. I'm going to do a very simple spell, which is just going to be a freestanding candle. I'm going to carve into it. Um, I'm going to dress it with with oils and herbs and um, I'm going to put salt around it to keep outside energy from getting in. And I'm going to have this on top of a pan or on um, wax paper so that it's, you know, so the surface is protected. But but you can make it more complicated if you want. Like, I really want to encourage you guys, like, look up cut, cut and clear spells because there's different ways to do it. So I prefer candle magic, but some of you might want to do this um, in a different way. There's, there's you know, you could do a, a bath cut and clear spell where you you sit in the bath and you you know, visualize the cords being cut. Uh, and then you, you can dump the water out. You can do, um, you, there's spells just involving a lemon where you put the person's, uh, a, a piece of paper with the person's name inside the lemon. There's more details than that, but, but the point is, you know, you know, make it creative, make it your own. It doesn't have to be the exact same way that I'm doing it. Unless you're, you're, if you're new to this and you're, you're not comfortable, you know, branching out yet, that's totally fine. You can do the same spell I'm doing. Um, it's up to you, but I just want to encourage you guys, you know, to look up cut and clear work and really get the ingredients that feel right for you. So lemon and lemongrass are very um, popular ingredients in cut and clear oils and um, in cut and clear spells in general. Black walnut is also a very popular cut and clear herb. And that's there's there's more than that. But the main one I usually go to is black walnut. That's the one that really works for me. You know, you actually if you're good at visualizing and meditating, you can actually cut the cords without even doing a spell. I don't like doing that, though, because I feel like the candle gives me something to focus on. So it makes it more solid to me. Um, I pretty much all my spells. I always use candles. I just feel like the flame um, is alive and it's, it's, you know, my actions are in my intentions and energy is in the flame. So it's continuously working for me. But, but again, you know, that's, I'm a fire sign. So that's probably why I'm connected to that element. So, you know, do what's right for you. You can, you can do the bath, you can do, you know, just do whatever spell you feel drawn to. But, but yeah, like I said, if, if you don't feel comfortable doing that, you can totally just follow along with me and you can also just follow along with me and do your own spell. It doesn't have to be the same one I'm doing. You can do, you know, you can follow along with me while you're in your bath doing the cut and clear bath or while you're, you know, doing a cut and clear, uh, spell with like just a lemon and a piece of paper. It's, it's whatever feels right for you. But, but anyway, um, so, so yeah, do some research and look up the ingredients, um, that, that feel right for you. Um, you can also just get the lemon and put it in a glass of water too. And, um, you know, put the intention in that that's also purifying you and, and cutting this, this energy out of you. So basically how it works is we have red cords that connect us to, to our soulmates, to people that we love, you know, people we've been with. And we, if we're ending a relationship, we need to cut those cords and we need to, you have to cut contact after you cut the cords as well, um, because otherwise they can still pick up on your energy and vice versa. So it can kind of keep you stagnant. And for this energy group, I was really getting that sense that you guys have been trying to manifest new love for a while, but there's just like this one little thing that keeps you kind of stuck. And this is an ex, or this is a, a, could be a mentality or a certain situation or something that is in your energy field that needs to be cut out. So like I said, if you're not comfortable doing spell work, just, just ignore the next, um, video that I do on the full moon on, on the new moon. And then, uh, we'll pick back up with the readings after I do that ritual on the new moon. So, so anyway, so if you want to do it, here's what you'll need. So you'll, if you're doing it the same way I'm doing it, you will need a candle, black, brown, or white candle. You will need cut and clear herbs, which I usually go for black walnut. But, you know, you don't have to. You can you can do some research on different cut and clear herbs and, and choose the ones that are right for you. Uh, you will need to decide if you want to do a freestanding candle or if you want to do a glass 
encased candle. I like the freestanding ones because you can just take a tack or some kind of like nail or whatever and you can um, carve your intentions into the candle, which is really powerful. But, you know, you can also just write on the glass of a glass encased candle. So it's whatever feels right for you, whatever you feel, whatever kind of candle you feel drawn to. Um, basically, you can also make a petition paper and write your intentions on that and put it on, at the bottom of the candle. So, so anyway, so you're going to want, you want a black, brown, or white candle. The second thing you want is black walnut herb or, or some type of um, cut and clear herb. Um, and then the third thing you're going to want is salt because you want to put you need you need to be grounded when you do this so you need to put salts around the um, candle to um, to stop any outside energies from getting in after while you're doing the spell. Um, so we got the candle, the the cut and clear herbs, the salt, and then let's see. You also want some kind of cleansing herb just for the space that you're working in, like sage or um, or lavender or lemongrass, just something to kind of purify the space that you're in to make sure that the, you know, only good intentions go into the candle. And then you need, if you're doing a freestanding candle, of course, you need um, a tack or something to, to write into the candle with. And let's see. Then you'll also need oil to dress the candle. So you'll need, it could be like olive oil, almond oil, like a lot of, a lot of oils that you have in your kitchen are, are good enough, you know, and you might already have cut and clear herbs in your kitchen. So some of these ingredients you might already have, but you'll need the oil to um, dress the candle. If it, if it's a freestanding candle, that is, if it's, if it doesn't have glass around it, then you're going to need the oil because you're going to put the oil over the candle and then put the herbs over that oil. And you're going to dress it outward facing away from you um, when you do it. So, so yeah. So, candle, herbs, cut and clear herbs, uh, salt, sage, or some kind of uncrossing herbs to clear and purify your space before you start working. Um, you can also make an oil beforehand. Like, you can go ahead and do that now if you want. If you have the cut and clear herbs, you can just you know, mix it with, um, olive oil and just let it sit for a couple days and just use that. That will work as well. If you want to make, you know, cause, un cause cut and clear oils are really good to use. You can also, um, you can buy cut and clear oil as well and dress your candle with that. So that's also a good, um, technique, but, but anyway, yeah, those are the things that you'll need. And like I said, I also, so, so, I mean, the basics are black, brown, or white candle, um, salt, an oil if you're doing the freestanding candle and then a, a pen to to write into the candle with if you're doing the freestanding candle um and then yeah and then the, just the herbs and the um you know sage or whatever you want to do to cleanse your space and i think that's about it um but you can also like i said you can get creative with this you know, if you have a magic shop around you, you can go and talk to them and get their advice as well. Um, see what, see what, because they might have suggestions for specific spells. So, you know, get creative. If you want to bring a lemon into this, do that. If you have an object of this person's, like a, like a jacket or something that you, you want to ritually get rid of during the spell, you know, bring that in too. Um, you can also go ahead and start writing a letter to this person and, the day that we do this ritual, you can burn the letter um, while we're doing the ritual. Um, and then, you know, like I said, lemons are also really good for um, for cut and clear work. So, so yeah, just just choose the ingredients that feel right for you. And then I will see you guys back here on the new moon, and we'll we'll do this. Um, let me know if you need any help. Just comment below if you have any questions, um, anything you want to say, and I'll be sure to give you some advice. So, um, yeah, see you guys.